In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by NVIDIA. These questions are designed to assess candidates' technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and understanding of the company's innovative technologies. We will also provide detailed answers and insights to help you prepare effectively. Whether you're a seasoned professional or a recent graduate, this guide aims to enhance your confidence for the interview process at NVIDIA. 1. Can you describe your experience with GPU architecture and parallel computing? I have worked extensively with GPU architecture, focusing on optimizing applications for parallel computing environments. My experience includes designing algorithms that leverage the parallel processing power of GPUs, which significantly speeds up computations in tasks such as image processing and deep learning. I have utilized frameworks like CUDA and OpenCL to harness GPU capabilities effectively. In several projects, I analyzed memory access patterns and execution configurations to enhance performance, allowing for scalable solutions that meet stringent processing demands in data-intensive applications. 2. What interests you most about NVIDIA's work in AI and deep learning? NVIDIA's pioneering advancements in AI and deep learning captivate me due to their transformative impact on various industries. The integration of deep learning techniques with powerful GPU architectures facilitates groundbreaking applications, from healthcare diagnostics to autonomous systems. NVIDIA's commitment to making AI accessible through platforms like TensorFlow and PyTorch enhances innovation. Additionally, the emphasis on real-time processing and large-scale data analytics aligns with my passion for leveraging technology to solve complex problems and drive efficiency in everyday tasks. 3. How do you stay updated on the latest advancements in computer graphics and visualization? Staying updated in the fast-evolving field of computer graphics and visualization involves a multifaceted approach. I regularly read industry journals, follow influential researchers on social media platforms, and participate in online forums such as Stack Overflow and specialized subreddits. Attending conferences and webinars also plays a crucial role, as they provide insights into the latest technologies and trends. Additionally, I engage in online courses and tutorials that focus on emerging tools and techniques, ensuring that my knowledge remains current and applicable in practical scenarios. 4. Describe a challenging project you worked on and how you overcame obstacles to achieve success. One challenging project involved developing a real-time rendering engine for a virtual reality application. The main obstacle was achieving high frame rates while rendering complex scenes. I implemented a multi-threaded approach, optimizing the rendering pipeline by reducing draw calls and using level of detail techniques. Additionally, I collaborated closely with artists to refine asset complexity. Regular performance testing helped identify bottlenecks early, allowing for iterative improvements. Through dedication and teamwork, we delivered a smooth, immersive experience that exceeded client expectations. 5. What is your approach to optimizing code for performance on GPU platforms? To optimize code for performance on GPU platforms, I focus on several key strategies. Firstly, I analyze the algorithm to identify parallelizable sections, ensuring that I maximize GPU utilization. I also leverage memory access patterns by optimizing memory coalescing and using shared memory effectively to reduce latency. Profiling tools are crucial for identifying bottlenecks, allowing me to fine-tune kernel execution and manage thread divergence. Additionally, I keep up with best practices in GPU programming, ensuring that I adopt the latest techniques and libraries for performance enhancement. 6. How would you explain the concept of CUDA to someone with limited technical background? CUDA, which stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture, is a parallel computing platform and programming model created by NVIDIA. It enables developers to use the power of NVIDIA GPS for general-purpose computing. Think of CUDA as a way to harness the massive number of cores in a GPU to perform many tasks at once, speeding up computations significantly. This technology allows programmers to write code in familiar languages like C or Python, making it easier to implement complex algorithms. By using CUDA, you can perform calculations much faster than with traditional CPS, especially for tasks involving large amounts of data, such as video processing or scientific simulations. 7. What excites you about NVIDIA's work in autonomous vehicles and robotics? NVIDIA's advancements in autonomous vehicles and robotics are thrilling due to their potential to revolutionize transportation and enhance safety. The integration of AI and deep learning allows for real-time decision-making, improving navigation and obstacle detection. The powerful GPUs designed for these applications enable complex simulations, which are essential for training autonomous systems. Additionally, the collaboration with various industries to create smart, connected environments showcases an exciting future where technology enhances everyday life, making it more efficient and secure. 8. Can you walk me through your experience with a specific deep learning framework like TensorFlow or PyTorch? My experience with PyTorch began during a project focused on image classification. I utilized its dynamic computation graph feature, which allowed for intuitive model building and debugging. I implemented convolutional neural networks, CNNs, and experimented with transfer learning using pre-trained models. 
This flexibility made it easier to iterate and refine the architecture based on validation performance. Additionally, I leveraged PyTorch's ecosystem, including libraries like TorchVision, for data augmentation and pre-processing, which significantly improved model accuracy. Engaging with the community also helped me stay informed about best practices and advancements in deep learning. 9. How do you prioritize tasks and manage your time effectively in a fast-paced environment? In a fast-paced environment, I prioritize tasks by assessing their urgency and impact on project goals. I often use a combination of methods, such as the Eisenhower matrix, to categorize tasks into urgent and important. By breaking down larger projects into manageable tasks, I can set clear deadlines and milestones. I also utilize tools like digital calendars and task management apps to keep track of my progress and adjust priorities as needed. Regularly reviewing goals and maintaining open communication with my team helps ensure that we stay aligned and focused on our objectives. 10. What strategies do you use for debugging complex parallel computing issues? Debugging complex parallel computing issues often involves a systematic approach. First, I isolate the problem by simplifying the code, focusing on smaller sections to identify anomalies. Utilizing tools like CUDAGDB or Insight helps track down bugs by providing insights into memory usage and execution flow. I also implement logging at various stages to capture critical data points, which aids in understanding the application's behavior during execution. Collaborating with team members can offer fresh perspectives and potential solutions. Lastly, reviewing documentation and community forums can provide insights into known issues and best practices. 11. How do you see AI and machine learning impacting the future of computing? AI and machine learning are set to revolutionize computing by enabling more intelligent systems that learn and adapt. This evolution will drive automation, enhancing productivity across industries. As models become more sophisticated, we can expect advancements in natural language processing, computer vision, and decision-making capabilities. These technologies will also facilitate personalized experiences, allowing software to anticipate user needs. Additionally, they will play a crucial role in optimizing resource management, improving efficiency in data centers, and enabling real-time analytics, transforming how we interact with technology. 12. Describe a time when you had to collaborate with a diverse team to achieve a common goal. In a previous project, I worked with a team comprising software developers, data scientists, and graphic designers from various cultural backgrounds. We were tasked with developing a machine learning model for image recognition. To ensure effective collaboration, we held regular meetings to align our goals and share progress. By encouraging open communication and valuing each member's expertise, we created a supportive environment. This approach led to innovative solutions and a successful project completion, demonstrating the strength of diverse perspectives in tackling complex challenges. 13. What do you know about NVIDIA's Omniverse platform and its potential applications? NVIDIA's Omniverse platform is a powerful collaborative environment designed for 3D simulation and visualization. It enables creators, designers, and developers to work together in real time using physically accurate simulations. The platform supports various industries, including gaming, architecture, and automotive design. Its potential applications include virtual production in filmmaking, real-time design collaboration, and the development of eye-driven simulations. Omniverse leverages NVIDIA's advanced graphics technologies, allowing users to create immersive experiences that can be seamlessly integrated with existing workflows and tools. 14. How do you approach learning new technologies and programming languages? To approach learning new technologies and programming languages, I begin with identifying key resources such as online courses, documentation, and community forums. I set specific goals to ensure focused learning, often breaking down complex topics into manageable segments. Hands-on experience is crucial, so I engage in practical projects or exercises to apply what I've learned. Additionally, I find it beneficial to participate in discussions with peers or mentors who have experience in the area, as this exchange of knowledge can deepen my understanding and provide real-world insights. 15. Can you discuss a time when you had to make a difficult technical decision with limited information? When working on a project with tight deadlines, I faced a situation where we needed to choose between two algorithms for a critical component. One was well-documented and familiar to the team, while the other had promising performance metrics but less community support. Given the limited time and resources, I convened a quick meeting to evaluate both options. We conducted a rapid prototyping session, implementing both algorithms on a small scale to assess their performance. Ultimately, we chose the second algorithm, which exceeded our expectations, leading to improved efficiency and project success. 16. What interests you about NVIDIA's work in data center and cloud computing solutions? NVIDIA's innovations in data center and cloud computing solutions are compelling due to their transformative potential for various industries. The company's focus on high-performance computing and AI-driven applications allows organizations to harness massive data for improved decision-making and efficiency. The integration of GPUs into cloud environments enhances processing capabilities for machine learning and analytics. Additionally, 
NVIDIA's commitment to scalable architectures enables businesses to innovate rapidly while managing costs effectively, making cutting-edge technologies accessible to a broader range of users. 17. How do you ensure code quality and maintainability in large-scale projects? Ensuring code quality and maintainability in large-scale projects involves several key practices. First, implementing rigorous code reviews promotes collaborative feedback and knowledge sharing among team members. Adopting coding standards and style guides helps maintain consistency across the codebase. Integrating automated testing, including unit and integration tests, can catch issues early and ensure that code changes do not introduce new bugs. Utilizing version control systems effectively allows for tracking changes and managing code history. Lastly, documentation is crucial for aiding understanding and onboarding new developers, ensuring that the project remains comprehensible over time. 18. What experience do you have with computer vision algorithms and applications? My experience with computer vision encompasses several projects involving image processing and machine learning. I have implemented algorithms for object detection using frameworks like TensorFlow and OpenCV, focusing on real-time applications. One notable project involved developing a facial recognition system that utilized convolutional neural networks, CNNs, for accurate feature extraction. This project required extensive data preprocessing and training on diverse datasets to enhance model robustness. I also explored applications in augmented reality, where computer vision plays a crucial role in merging digital content with the physical environment. 19. How do you handle constructive feedback or criticism on your work? Handling constructive feedback involves viewing it as an opportunity for growth. I actively listen to the feedback, ensuring I understand the points raised. By asking clarifying questions, I demonstrate my willingness to learn and improve. I then reflect on the feedback to identify specific areas for enhancement. Implementing changes based on this feedback not only improves my work but also fosters a culture of open communication. I appreciate when others share their perspectives, as it can lead to better outcomes in a more collaborative environment. 20. Can you explain the differences between NVIDIA's various GPU architectures? NVIDIA's GPU architectures, such as Turing, Ampere, and Ada Lovelace, each bring unique advancements. Turing introduced real-time ray tracing and AI-enhanced graphics, significantly improving rendering quality. Ampere focused on performance and efficiency, doubling the ray tracing cores and enhancing tensor cores for deep learning tasks. Ada Lovelace further advances these features, optimizing performance for gaming and AI workloads. The key differences lie in their core designs, memory bandwidth, and capabilities in handling parallel tasks, making each architecture suited for specific applications while pushing the boundaries of computing power. 21. What strategies do you use for effective communication in cross-functional teams? Effective communication in cross-functional teams involves a blend of clarity, active listening, and adaptability. I prioritize establishing a common language that resonates with team members from diverse backgrounds, ensuring that technical jargon is minimized. Regular check-ins foster transparency and allow for feedback, creating an open environment where ideas can flow freely. Utilizing collaborative tools enhances real-time communication, while structured meetings keep everyone aligned on goals. When conflicts arise, I focus on understanding different perspectives, facilitating discussions that lead to shared solutions. 22. How do you approach solving complex algorithmic problems? When tackling complex algorithmic problems, I begin by thoroughly understanding the problem statement and identifying the key requirements. Next, I break down the problem into smaller, manageable components, which allows me to focus on each part individually. I often sketch out potential algorithms or solutions on paper, considering their time and space complexities. Implementing a prototype is crucial, as it helps me test and validate my approach. Throughout this process, I stay open to feedback and continuously refine my solution based on testing results and performance metrics. Collaboration with peers also plays a vital role in gaining new insights. 23. What do you know about NVIDIA's contributions to the gaming industry? NVIDIA has played a pivotal role in revolutionizing the gaming industry through its cutting-edge GPU technology. Their GeForce graphics cards have set benchmarks for performance, enabling high-definition graphics and realistic rendering. Technologies like RTX introduce real-time ray tracing, enhancing visual fidelity in games. NVIDIA also supports game developers with tools such as Gameworks, which provides libraries and assets for creating immersive environments. Additionally, initiatives like GeForce now offer cloud gaming solutions, allowing gamers to play high-quality titles on various devices, broadening accessibility and enhancing user experience. 24. How do you stay motivated when working on long-term, challenging projects? Staying motivated during long-term, challenging projects involves setting clear milestones and celebrating small wins along the way. I focus on the end goal and remind myself of the impact my work will have. Regularly revisiting the project's objectives helps maintain enthusiasm. I also seek feedback and engage with my team to share challenges and solutions, which fosters a collaborative atmosphere. Taking breaks and pursuing personal interests outside of work can recharge my creativity and energy, allowing me to return with fresh perspectives and renewed motivation.
25. Why do you want to work at NVIDIA and how do you align with the company's values and mission? I am drawn to NVIDIA because of its commitment to innovation and its leadership in AI and GPU technology. The values of collaboration, sustainability, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible resonate deeply with me. I admire NVIDIA's focus on creating impactful solutions that enhance industries from gaming to healthcare. My passion for cutting-edge technology aligns perfectly with the mission to drive advancements that empower people and organizations. I believe my skills in parallel computing and AI development can contribute meaningfully to NVIDIA's objectives, fostering growth and innovation together. In this video, we've explored the top 25 NVIDIA interview questions and provided insightful answers to help you prepare effectively. Whether you're aiming for a technical role or a position in management, understanding these questions can give you a competitive edge. Remember, preparation is key to success in any interview. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Your support helps us continue to create resources that empower your career journey. Thank you for watching.